Hey there guys, welcome back. So in the previous video, we finished creating the top download section, which was fairly simple and fairly easy. So the only thing left to create uh, in the design part is the footer section. So we're actually gonna recreate the footer that we have over here. We've got some text, we've got some button, uh, we've got some navigation links and also a copyright information. Creating this button is gonna be pretty cool and pretty interesting. I'm gonna show you a couple of nice tricks um, you know, to improve your workflow. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is in the content section, um, I've added a um, padding of 70. I'm gonna also add in a bottom padding of 100 pixels. So, you know, it pushes things, uh, you know, a bit out. So let's go ahead and create a new section. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab in a new section. So just create a section and okay. So this is the problem. So we're gonna have to kind of um, create a section and then just double click. Oh, all right. What we can do is select the body and then create a section. And there we go. We have a section over here. So I'm going to go ahead and then call this footer because that's the footer. And there's some color over here. So I'm going to apply the same color, copy that and come here to the footer. And in the image and background, I'm going to give it a color of the one that we needed. Perfect. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna press Command E, Control E, and get in a text block. Now the reason I'm adding a text block is because um, none of the elements in the footer section actually affect SEO. So we don't have to use a heading for that. And in the text block, I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna go ahead and then just paste it. Now one thing I wanna do is uh, with the footer selected, um, I'm gonna set the display to flex, um, direction to vertical, and align uh, center and justify, you know, center as well. Or we could just justify top, it doesn't matter so much. So now everything comes here into the dead center. So uh, here are the properties. We've got Roboto, bold, and 24 pixel size, 24 font size. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let's add in this color. All right, um, 24. All right, we can set the height to probably um, not 100 pixel. It's gonna be probably 150%. Uh, uh, All right, and we're gonna choose a Roboto and then set the weight to bold. All right, now this is in tool line, so we can actually restrict uh, the size of the text block to um, probably 50% of the width of the container. So in this case, since the footer is, uh, if it's 100%, the text block is gonna be 50%, all right? So if I take a look, you can see this how it looks. But uh, what you can do is probably reduce it down to 30%, all right? And if we take a look over here, um, maybe, maybe not 30%, let's just try, or let's give it a fixed width of, let's say, uh, 500 uh, pixels, all right? And we can set the alignment to center, and if you take a look, um, it looks uh, pretty good, not bad. So there is some spacing at the top. So it's around 48 pixels. So I'm gonna go give a top margin of 48 and that pushes it down. Up next, we have a nice button. So let's go ahead and create a button. So press Command E and then let's go add in a button. All right, so for, the, so for this, uh, there's a spacing of 30 pixels at the bottom, so I'm gonna select that and give it a bottom margin of um, 30, 30 pixels. All right, so that pushes it down, fine. And here in the button text, it says tweet. All right, so here is the interesting thing that I want to show you guys. So if you go to fontawesome.com, so let's go to fontawesome and check it out. You can go to the icons section and let's say I want Twitter. All right, so let's just type in Twitter. And we have this Twitter icon. So what I can do is if I click on it, I can actually come over here and click on copy Unicode glyph, all right? So I copy that and here in Webflow, I can just go ahead and before the word tweet, I can just paste that. And as you can see, as, as soon as I paste it, it becomes this kind of a rectangle and that's because I have to install the font awesome font. So I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can actually download the font. And once you've downloaded, you can go to your uh, project settings. You can go to fonts. Uh, you can go to upload custom font. And here I have a lot of fonts. I've ha I have the TTF, WOF font. So I'm gonna select only the TTF fonts. Um, so we're gonna just copy all the TTF fonts. We've got 400, 900, all right. And then just click on open. Um, this looks uh, kind of weird. So probably this is gonna be um, 900 black um, brands, font family. I think this is fine. Let's just click on upload file. 
upload file and upload file. So now let's go back to the designer. And if we scroll down, we can select that. Uh, let's go to the font. Let's choose um, font brands. Okay, font, font brands is what works. All right, and that's it. You can see we have the Twitter icon. Um, so if we wanna go closer, we can get in the proper settings. So this is around 24 pixels tall, and we can go and set uh, this to say 24 pixels tall. Now the problem is this text uh, needs to be Roboto. So we can't have a Roboto font and the FA Brands font in the same thing. So the way to fix that would be to, um, let's say we select this to Roboto, we set it to bold. Uh, we gotta have to select this, only this one, and then click here to wrap with span. And that makes it another text block. Um, so if I show you over here, we have a button. Inside that button, we have the text span, which is basically uh, this one. And for this, I can go and quickly change this from Roboto to SF Brands. And uh, that looks pretty good. Now, but maybe I can reduce the size of this to 20 and maybe even reduce the um, opacity. So from pure white, um, this looks probably like 60% opacity. So I can set it to 60% opacity and uh, that looks uh, pretty good. Okay, so let's add in some inner padding. So 15, let's set that to 30 and 30, all right? And on the top from nine, we can set that to probably 15 and 15 here as well. Okay, and let's give it some rounding. So full on 100% rounding as much as we can. There we go. And let's give it some spacing. So, all right, so a little bit of spacing. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's change the color so we can copy this color copy and select the button let's come over here to the color over here uh, sorry we got to change it to a gradient first a radial sorry a linear gradient and let's paste color number one and over here copy and then color number two okay and let's give it an angle like so and that's looking pretty good it looks awesome great so up next we have this grid which has all the three links so here this one the text main resources and community are not links so we can use a normal text block but for these we need to use a link block all right so let's do that so i'm gonna press command e create a div block this is going to be called as the footer grid Okay, so for the top, uh, we see 50 pixels and at the bottom 50 pixels. So I'm just gonna go ahead and directly give a margin of 50 on the top and 50 at the bottom. So we have some good spacing. And then we'll turn this into a grid and it's gonna be three columns and one row. That's what we want. And click on done. Press command E, I'm gonna get in a div block. All right, and this div block is gonna be a footer block. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and start adding some text. So I'm press Command E, bring in a text block, and um, let's see the settings. So we've got Roboto Medium and 18, and let's copy this color code. So let's just type in main, all right? And then we can go to um, Roboto. Let's choose medium, let's pop in that color and that's pretty good. And let's give it some spacing. We've got around 15 pixels. So let's give it a bottom margin of 16 pixels. Then we have all these texts. I'm gonna copy these texts. So, th so let's just rename this to a uh, footer title, all right? And create another uh, text link element, all right, below that. And this is gonna be a uh, footer links, okay? And uh, we can just close this up and then we can, you know, just go ahead and start pasting it. So what you want to do is not actually, you know, copy all that. You want to have individual ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go um, type in one by one, manual courses, uh, design system jobs in English. So home, okay. And we're going to go ahead and change the settings over here. So we've got um, this color and Roboto Medium 20, got it. So let's um, paste that color, 
20 um bold uh roboto okay i think it's medium so let's set that to medium and we can get rid of the decoration pretty cool so i'm gonna just paste this a couple of times so there we go and courses design system jobs in english so courses design system jobs and english cool now another problem is this footer block we want to go ahead and set that to flex we want to set it to vertical and then we want to choose align left so everything is on the left now the spacing is too less so we have to add in our own spacing so let's say we give it a spacing of um, margin here of uh, 16 pixels and uh, that should be pretty good in my opinion um, maybe we could reduce that down to 14 but yeah I think 16 does a good job so as you can see all these are links so if I hover over here you can't do anything but if I hover over here this becomes a link so the next thing we want to do is we just want to go ahead and select this footer block copy paste and copy paste simple all right so uh, I'm actually going to pause the video now I'm going to just go ahead and rename all this and I'm going to come back within a second all right, so I'm back and I just quickly go ahead, went ahead and changed all this. So now what we want to do is we kind of wanted to expand up to 1000 pixels so that it's in line with, uh, you know, the, uh, all the other content. So I'm going to select the footer grid and I'm going to give it a fixed width of 1000 pixels. All right. So now it kind of pushes everything over to the side, but it kind of looks really weird and kind of looks really off. You know what I'm saying? You know, doesn't look perfect. And I think I want to increase the size of this from, um, I don't know, from 14 to 18. Yeah, I think that's uh, better. Yeah, oh yeah, it is 18, I forgot to do that. Yeah. And another thing we can do is actually, let's go back and instead of, uh, let's select the grid, all right, uh, the footer grid, and instead of giving it a width of 1000 pixels, let's actually set that to auto. So let's just go ahead and reset it. Uh, I'm going to select the grid and I'm going to give uh, it a big amount of a gap, all right? So here, probably like 100 pixels, um, maybe 200 pixels. So we can kind of like push them out. And now this looks much better and, you know, much even, uh, even though it's kind of a little bit off. Um, it's same over here. It's a little bit off here as well, all right? Uh, but, you know, it kind of works well. Okay, so the last thing we have to do uh, to add is this copyright section. So I'm just going to select all that copy and uh, let's uh, create another um, text. So press command E, type in text block. Okay, uh, we want this to be outside actually. All right, and uh, maybe we can have in a bottom margin of 50 and let's just go ahead and paste this. All right, so we can paste it. Um, we can set the alignment to center um, 16 and this color Roboto medium 150% so let's go to Roboto uh, medium uh, 16 150% and let's add in this color and done okay so for the footer we need a little bit more spacing so around 50 so I'm gonna select the footer um, I'm going to give it an inner padding of 50 or let's actually go select the text block 4 we can just call call this copyright and give this a bottom margin of 50 percent 50 pixels and that should be pretty good now you would want to obviously uh, you know add links to your terms of service and privacy policy so the way to do that is you would want to select it and you can just click over here to insert link and it's going to insert that into a link you can do the same thing over here select that insert that into a link and you would probably have to go ahead and customize this again so if i call this um copyright links and what i'm going to do is um i'm going to get rid of the decoration we want to give that same color so let's go ahead select this and choose copyright links so that goes away again so if it doesn't change the color one thing you can do is you can just go ahead and you know manually go ahead pick white 
and then uh, paste that color again so it works and now these are like clickable links you can also go ahead and change it to bold so people feel that it is clickable all right so this is how you build a footer section there is so much that we did it was pretty fun and pretty cool and um let's take a look and see if we have anything missing so we got to fix so we have to do the navigation interaction and we have to make a response so let's take a look at it on full screen it looks pretty awesome pretty good oh we got to add the button uh, hover animation so we can quickly do that i guess so if i go and just um get the hover select this let's go to states go to hover all right and um Let's see how this actually happens. All right, it does move up. So in the transform, we're gonna move this by, oh, sorry, minus 10 pixel, or let's actually decide to minus five pixels. And we can copy the drop shadow settings, copy that um, in the box shadow, set this to 180, 10, 20, color, and probably reduce that down to like uh, 25, whoops. 25% or maybe 30% should be good. And uh, let's go ahead and add some simple easing. So go to uh, transitions, uh, type, set that to all properties, um, 300 and uh, ease out quart. All right, so let's take a look. And yeah, that looks pretty nice, pretty neat and sweet. So that was so fast. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at creating this animation that we see. So, you know, it kind of becomes black and collapses and as it come up, it, you know, just comes back to its original state. So I will see you guys in the next video.